Well, here we are again at another Harbor Freight on crating. This is the scissor lift. As you can see, this is the crate it came in. It's 102 inches long, 44 inches wide, and about 9, 10 inches high. Uh, it weighs uh, right around about 900 pounds. And uh, I was able to put it in uh, a small uh, Colorado, Chevy Colorado pickup truck. You know, it fit okay. And uh, that's the second box. That's the, uh, that's the hydraulic unit. And that weighs about 35, 40 pounds right in that area there, maybe 50. Okay. Uh, I was able to get it out with this uh, uh, engine hoist. And I used the uh, Harbor Freight trencher uh, where the chain is. And what I did is um, I picked both of these up, uh, took the weight off of the truck, and then I just pulled the truck out from underneath it. And then I slowly lowered it. And uh, I lowered it on some, um, uh, the uh, vehicle, uh, yeah, those dollies. Okay, just put a hunk of plywood, add some plywood in that, put the plywood on there and, and uh, pull it into the garage. So now I'm going to start taking it apart and I'll pull it out and we'll see uh, what it looks like. Looks like it's okay in there. Um, the uh, the uh, banding in that uh, was broken uh, before I got it. So um, the guy uh, used a long forked uh, uh lift truck to get it in the truck made it real simple first tried it with the short ones couldn't even get it picked up uh, then he got the long ones put it right in Conway Freight was great easy to work with came here on time no complaints so far alright I'm gonna get back to uh, getting it uh, uh, put together and we'll get back with you and let you know how it works alright talk to you later Okay, here's what it looks like unpacked. Took a couple hours to uh, get it unpacked and out of the uh, crate. It wasn't that easy because uh, it's heavy. So it took a lot of uh, up and downs with the uh, engine hoist. There's the whole crate. All cut up and uh, put in the uh, garbage can. And here's everything that comes with the, uh, and here's the way it comes right out of the uh, crate. Those are the pads and the plates that uh, go underneath the car that's is still in the bubble wrap. Uh, the hoses, everything, that's exactly the way it came out of the, uh, uh, out of the uh, crate. You have to be careful with this thing because it's got to come out because uh, it, it is the scissors. So you can't, uh, like those cross members back there, can't pick it up by that because that's the top. It's not the bottom. So all it does is uh, the top comes up and nothing else moves. So it is uh, a little bit rough to get out of the container easily. I mean, it comes out, but you just have to take your time and uh, get some 2x4s, 4x4s, and pick it up and move it around. And then there's the uh, the box that's going to get open next. So I can get this thing turned around. But that's uh, that's the handle that comes with the, uh, with the uh, crate, not the box. So those five items come packed with the, uh, and they're loose too in there, but nothing damaged, wasn't even scratched or anything, so... Um, it's all done with plywood, actually. I mean, I, I cut the hell out of it, but, you know, it's all like, uh, well, maybe half inch, five eighths, something like that. Nine sixteenths, I would imagine. You know, one of their magic uh, metric numbers. But uh, there you have it. All right, I'm going to uh, open up the box in so that I can hook it up to the front there and get it turned around. Of course, I had a 50-50 chance which way this thing was going to come out of the box. Uh, now that it's in the garage, of course it's uh, in here backwards, so i got to turn it around. Of course, right? Alright, talk to you in a little bit. Well, I put this together, and uh, 
as you can see nice big dent on top there not packaged very well just one piece of styrofoam around it and hole in the tank I see it leaking there see the oil coming out so yeah not good that's all smashed not a big deal I can take that off, uh, pound it out, and paint it, and be fine. I'm just going to have to uh, get a hold of customer service. Uh, that in itself is going to be a chore. We'll see what happens with that. But yeah, I was sitting there pouring the uh, pouring the fluid in there, and uh, I just noticed it was coming out just as fast as it was going in. So not good. So easy hookup. Everything went together. I put the plug on it. Um, I have a a 20 amp breaker uh, it comes out of a 50. That's a that's a, a 50 amp uh, welding circuit there. So it's all set, but I'm out of I'm out of business till uh, till we get some parts. So there you have it, uh, Harbor Freight uh, Scissor Jack hydraulic pump uh, damaged in uh, shipping. You know you can. You can see the uh, the box was really worn through, and they have a this is a piece of like fiberboard that they had in there, and even that is you can see where the top was smashing against it. You know, it's not packaged real well. This is the this is the uh, it's only on one side. So uh, the back side of it uh, that's down, uh, you know, the, the back, that's the back of it. This, when it was shipped, this was in the back or in the bottom of the box, and that was uh, pointing upwards. So, yep, you can see there's some more. That's all from uh, poor packaging. But, all right, there you have it. Uh, dead in the water till we can get some parts or whatever. Talk to you later.